And good evening, everybody, and welcome to Fox High School here in Tacoma, Washington. As tonight is playoff action as the Bremerton Knights coming off a 77-75 double overtime thriller against Foster. And now they take on the Fox Falcons here in Tacoma, Washington. Now bringing in the broadcaster, expert analyst, analysis. He can never sum everything up in one word. It's Jim Portune. Jim, how are you, man? Good. Can't get that word. Anything else right, right there, folks. But don't... The uh, remember tonight's hitting your stride, Jim, at just at the right time, uh, where they uh, were able to beat Olympic in a play-in game. They play well against Foster and come up with a double overtime win there. Now they got Foss at 17 and six. Uh, with the Knights just win seven league win, uh, seven wins on the year, we'll have to face a tough opponent tonight. Well, it actually goes back farther than that, Kevin. Back to the February 2nd, the Kingston game. Uh, they had to win that game, and they had lost Good that Kingston. Good evening, They won Jones that, um, and, and that got them the chance to qualify Western for the qualifiers Western with Olympic. And then just, I don't know if it looks like Olympic what was that, that game, but it looks like Olympic just folded. Um, 64 to 29, and then, um, but it shows that the Knights, the Knights have spunk and it's hung in there. Double overtime zero. game, they're nerve-wracking, and um, they, they pulled it out. Gets. Yeah, the starting lineup down below. We have Trayvon Peets starting for the Knights. We have Trenton Bomer starting for the Bremerton Knights tonight. Number 11, Samuel Tucker. Also Sam Tucker as the Knights in their blue Number uniforms and Isaiah gold Kedigo. lettering. And, and Number 23, uh, Oliver Christian. Isaiah Candego and then Oliver Christian, the usual suspects, Gemma. And it uh, looked like they were shooting the ball well at um, in and the pregame now. warm-up. Your oh, yes, no, I was watching that. The Henry yeah, Foss Falcons! That's the thing you watch for as a Number coach. Number one, so. Adidas Carson! The uh, PA announces it's over. Number three, three. Jamie <laughs> Killian but, uh, Howard! You're looking as a coach to see if, you know, how Number the shots are going to be on his team. Number five, Ibrahim Nobashi! Bremerton wasn't showing Number any nervous. Number 21, Casey Williams! They were shooting well. And there we go, Number 24, Amir. Starting lines for the Fox Falcons. If you uh, could hear it through the uh, uh, very loud mic <laughs> protection, but uh, also effective. And now, Elijah Killian Howard, Adidas Carson, Nathaniel Campbell, for the national anthem. Casey Williams, and Amir Goins. As we get ready for the national anthem, as the flag comes down here at Foss High School, the fans are on their, their feet, as are the Knights and the Falcons. We get ready for the national anthem coming up here momentarily. We will listen in as well. And there you go. What a nice redemption of the National Anthem. Sounds like something that Kenny G would put together on the saxophone here at Foss High School. The referees are shedding their jackets. The teams are taking the floor. And it's time, almost time for playoff basketball here at Foss High School. A nice crowd is filtered in on a Friday night. We're ready to watch the Foss Falcons. What you see across from us isn't what is uh, 
equaling on the other side right below us here as we're high above here at Foss High School about ready for tip off. Once again, it's Trayvon Pete, Trent Bomber, Sam Tucker, Isaiah Candengo, Oliver Christian on the floor to starting five for the Knights, Elijah Killian Howard, Ideas Carson, Nathaniel Campbell, Casey Williams, and Amir Goins all starting for the Falcons. Falcons written across the chest, with dark lettering on the front, white pants, white jerseys. Again, Bremerton in their, their uh, blue uniforms, yellow lettering, and about ready to jump up, Isaiah Candengo. Getting it set to jump up against Samir Goins, who taps it in the backcourt. Controlled by the Falcons. We are underway here at Foss High School. And he is constant with the basketball. Cut off there by the defensive Bomer. Flips back on top to Goins. They play catch down near side to Jamie Killian Howard. Baseline for three, in and out no good. But here's the offensive rebound and put it back in is Amir Goins. Quickly 2 0. Foss offensive rebounding. Knights will have to do a good job on the board tonight. Loss of flying man to man pressure. Yeah, we have an invert and buzzer going off at the scorer's table, so play will halt momentarily. That's a um, nice gym here right across from us. They have, rather than the public address announcer on the floor, they get up behind the windows, the sliding glass windows yeah, they're, out they're, on top. They're taking our press box. What's, what's going on with that? I, uh, you know, I didn't get to it quick enough. Here we are. Bremerton Knights to the basketball. Elevated from 17 to Sam Tucker. Back rim, no good. There's Jamie Killian Howard, who actually got the start. Bringing the basketball in the front court. Zips it out to the far side to Dobashi. Now in the corner to Williams. Back out on top for three. Back iron, no good. By Killian Howard. On pass down to Bomer. He goes up the left hand. It's blocked on the Block play. Jamie Killian Howard. Jamie Killian Howard. Front court to Goins. Finds baseline right to Peach. Peach tried to jab it away from behind. Williams with it. Now on top for three. Short by Dees Carson. Knights with a rebound on the run. Galloping in is Trayvon Peach. Goes up. He can't miss, make the shot. Bumped a little bit on the play by, by Howard. Get it in the point to Howard. Flip out to the near baseline. Off the mark. No good by Goins. Rebound put back up again. Put the rebound. Abraham Debashi. And it's 4 0. The Foss Falcons. Beach in the front court. And offensive foul called on Oliver, on uh, Bomer. Yes, right now, that all of Foss's initial shots are coming up from the three point range. Um, but they're doing a very good job. They're sneaking inside of Bremerton zone. I don't know how that's happening and getting the offensive rebound and putting it back. All of four, all of four of Foss's points. Wow. All four of Foss's points are coming off offensive rebound. In the front court is Howard. Flips out the far side to Williams. Drives against the defense to Tucker. They flip the ball around the far side for a long three. Up the mark and then off with the rebound. And a loose ball foul called on this time on Amir Goins, to do believe. Uh, number one. Foul the number one, Ideas Carson. Ideas Carson whistle for the foul. I thought I saw a shot from behind from Goins, but pick one. The official only put up one finger. I just know what I saw. Yeah, no, no. I didn't say what I thought the same thing. But yeah, but uh, somewhere in the line there, uh, he got his hand in there, it is Carson. Shot off the mark by Tucker. Goins with the rebound. Jumping in on back court. Here's Jamie Killian Howard. He drives in, hangs in the air, he's with the window Jamie and heads. Howard to the hoop for two. Six nothing. The Falcons on top. 5-10 to go here in the first. Nice good need to get some better shots. And some continuity going because they Right now, the uh, the Falcons dominating the offensive boards. Well, and if you see, Kevin, how the Falcons' man-to-man -man defense, how high is pushing Bremerton out. That's the closest Peach has got. He just got it from the three-point line. In the front court. On the Falcons with the basketball. Saeed Ibrahim Dabashi. You get it into Goins at the free throw line. Double team there by Christian and Tucker. Get it back on on top. 19-footer raising up. With the shot is Killian Howard missing the shot, but there's not an offensive okay, rebound by Goins. Dominating the offensive board right now. Eight nothing. The Falcons on top. Driving in the lane is Peach. He is fouled on the play. 
I do believe this one will go against Goins on the blocking foul underneath. Non shooting foul. Well, there he is going to the free throw line. Excuse me. Trevon Peach will go to the free throw line. Knights have a chance to get on the board with two shots from Peach. So Ben Flex, toe it up, and back iron the free throw. Knights will make a substitution. Gadenga will go out. Sellers will come in for the Bermondson Knights. Trevon Peach attempting the back end of the second free throw. And leaves that one short. Lands in the hands of Jamie Gillian, Gillian Howard, who speeds in the front court. Drives right in the chest and ripped away by Bomer. And it'll be a jump pass to the ball. Bermond tonight will get possession to here. Nice play by Bomer. Yep, it was. Drove right in his chest. He goes, give me that rock. Jim Bounds pressure shown by the Falcons. Peets. Where gives the defense to Carson as he comes in the front court. Carson still on him. He won the man of mine defense of pushing the Knights way outside. And with the Knights really doing nothing with the basketball there, Maya Davis will call a timeout, a 30 second timeout. On video, we'll keep it here. On radio, we'll be back in 30 seconds. You're listening to Bremen Tonight's Basketball on ISPSports.com. Well, portion of this broadcast is brought to you by Tony Mustum Shine Shop. House job cleaning services, PC parts and service, Takiro Los Gazadoros H and K Insurance, Chiropractic Lifestyle Center, McLeod's Grill House and Bar, Virtual Order of Eagles, and BrimmertonJunk.com. And both teams staying in the floor back down. Bremerton tonight's fresh off a timeout. See what they try to do here. Setting more high picks. They nice try to do a little pick and slip the pizza ball stolen away by the Falcons. Nice to get the score. 354 to go here in the first quarter. Elevating from the far baseline with Jamie Killian, Howard, Killian Howard. The assist, Casey Williams. PC Williams with the assist. It's 11 0. The Fox Falcons on top. Beats in the front court. Gives it off to Sam Tucker. Long three, near angle, back iron, no good. And there to get the effort to deep the rebound is Dabashi. However, stolen away by Sellers driving in. Trying to a little right hand flip, no good. But there's a steal by Bomer, who was able to lay it up and in. Just what the Knights needed. Eleven to two. Flipped out to the far side, Casey Williams. Tucker in his hip pocket, double teamed by with him and Seller to flip out near side for a long three. Abraham Nothing but four. Saeed Abraham, Abraham Dobashi is fifth point of the night. 14 to two. Falcons have exploded out to a big lead here in the first quarter of play. Tucker drives base off to the left side. Gets it off to Peets. Homer from 17 off to Mark going to get another rebound. Hands off to Killian Howard. Jumps in is Carson. And back off underneath. Up fakes, gets Peets off his feet. Gets back out to the free throw line for a 14 footer. By Killian Howard for two, his fourth point of the night. And it's 16 to two. Bremerton having no success defensively stopping Foss. Sellers with the mouse ball out to Peets. Extended out almost to the three quarter line. He takes left, goes right, goes in with a left hand lane, leaves it short. Swooping up and pulling down the rebound is Dobosky for Falcons. Long pass down to Jimmy Killian Howard. His six point of the night. And it's 18 to 2 with two minutes to go here in the first quarter of play. And it's a 16 point lead, the biggest lead of the night. Yeah, Bremerton right now mentally seems to be focused on trying to outscore Foss, which is obviously not working, being they're trailing 2 to 18. They don't seem to be doing very little to try to stop them defensively. And for the Bremerton Knights, uh, they need to try to get some better shots. But as you mentioned, Jim, they're, the defense of the Falcons are keeping the Knights out on the perimeter oh, yeah. and they're not hitting the outside shots. Well, Bremerton's not like man-to-man -man pressure defense all season. Um, so they just don't have the speed in their guards to, um, to, to, to get around the corner. But And so after the timeout, Knights will come out on the floor and they will face the backcourt pressure shown by the 
The Falcons, Gomer bringing it out of backcourt. On him is Dabashi. Falcons have shown some good defense here in the first quarter of play. Gomer was still with it, and then converging on him defensively was Campbell. Strong shot by Tucker, nothing but the bottom of the court for Sam Tucker. It's the triple and the triple, and it's 18 to 5. Point. 20 to 5. Here in the first, 126 to go. Tucker goes up, has a shot blocked. Shot blocked by Jamie Killian Howard. Who's on the run? Flips it out to the baseline for, for three. Saeed Ebrahim Domashi. Hits the ripple and the triple is 24. I guess they called that just a two. 24 to 5. Knights in the front court. Athleticism for Foss. Keep the Knights out from underneath. There's a nice pass by Sellers. Trying the baseline left is Pete. He goes up and scores. Beautiful backdoor cut by Pete. 24 to 7. 45 seconds left to go here in the first quarter play. Rapidly paced first quarter play. Going in is Nathaniel Campbell. He'll draw contact. Hit the hardwood and a foul on the Bremerton Knights. That's the Knights' second foul. Both well, teams with two well, team you know, fouls. This will be a shooting foul. Nathaniel, Nathaniel, Nathaniel Campbell, the senior, at the free throw line. Remin reminiscing about the um, last time I was here in 2011, sitting up there on the center section, uh, Deontay Dixon and the Knights were here down to play Foss. And Dixon at the time was ranked number five and, and two, number five two eight player in the state. The Foss had the number two two eight player in the state. It was some unbelievable basketball. Uh, Foss player didn't think that Deontay Dixon would be able to stay with him, and when he when Dixon turned it up, you could see the Foss player having turned it up to a whole nother level. It was just a very magnificent game of basketball. Bremerton lost, but Campbell makes them both, 26 to seven. Time running down now here in the first quarter of play. And a forgettable first quarter for the Bremerton Knights. Foss doing to them what they did to the Olympic Trojans a couple weeks ago, or a week and a half ago. Tucker, baseline left to Peets. On him, defensively is Campbell. Tony Peets will drive in, out to Sellers for three. Got it. The ripple and the triple for Sellers. Sellers. For three. Gets the Knights. Down by 16 now, 26 to 10. Driving in, in the lane, living it short. Was the Domashti rebound pulled down by the Bremerton Knights. And they will not be able to get the final shot off. We are through one here at Foss High School. 26 to 10. It is the Foss Falcons 26. And the Bremerton Knights 10. We will be back with the second quarter action when we come back on your Bremerton Basketball Broadcasting Network. 